Our latest album, Pentuk, was released last year on November the 19th. On the same day, we had a full blood moon and a lunar eclipse, which to us seemed like providence, since we had just included the changing faces of the moon on the album's cover. But the cover and album artwork represents so much more. It contains a multitude of layers, images and symbols that we arrived at through months of experimenting and with crucial input from you, our listeners. In this video we want to tell you more about the Pentut artwork, how it came about and what the different images and symbols signify. Oh yeah. All structured. It was about this time last year that we were introduced to this guy, Pieter Hoekstra. Pieter is a deep and thoughtful visual artist from the Netherlands, whose work we admired and with whom we set out to develop the artwork for our two upcoming sister albums, who were as of yet untitled. We started off by talking about themes that could visually represent the music that we were about to record and began, literally, with an empty canvas. This particular canvas can be seen on the cover of the first single from this period, All Is Well. On the cover, two abstract lines meet before diverging again into an unspecified distance. The lines can be seen as representing the past, present and future, as a part of a triangle or an abstract letter A. But how you perceive this simple symbol is left to the beholder and depends on one's perspective, point of view and distance from the symbol. While photographing the canvas, Peter experimented with monochromic light sources, which is to say, optical spectrums that contain only one frequency and he focused on red and violet, the highest and lowest frequencies that the human eye can perceive. Like two lines on a canvas or two musical notes in a composition, each of these wavelengths have a frequency that travels differently through space and time. We were on to something. 